In his first major interview since he was sacked by the Prime Minister, George Osborne has told the BBC he'll remain in politics in order to, as he put it, fight for what he cares about. The former Chancellor said he would focus his energies on creating a northern economy to rival London and the South East. Earlier, he explained how he would look to improve prosperity in the north of England. It's a very specific idea. It's that the cities and counties of the north of England are stronger together than apart, that they are geographically close enough that if you bring them together, you empower their civic leaderships, you make investment in their science and their arts, and above all make investment in their transport connections, then you will attract private sector business and investment, not just from this country, uh, but from around the world. Former Chancellor George Osborne, let's speak to Tom Forth. Uh, there he is, champion of the Northern Powerhouse. He's uh, an associate at the Open Data Institute. Leeds, that's an organisation that looks to share non-personal data to improve the prosperity of cities and communities. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome from Leeds. Uh, thank you. What's your reaction to what uh, George Osborne has said and done today? Uh, really positive, generally. I mean, we speak to businesses right across the north of England, uh, Leeds, Bradford, Manchester, Liverpool. And uh, I think a lot of people are very positive about making sure that the Northern Powerhouse idea, which at its core is an, uh, an extremely good idea, is going to be taken forward. And it's an opportunity for us to feed in to the discussions that are ongoing and hopefully have our voices heard in London. I think George Osborne obviously is an MP in London. If this is the, the thing that he wants to do, then a lot of us are quite keen to get on board with it. Uh, this is obviously a think tank. We know what George Osborne has said about this in the past. Uh, what realistically, though, can a think tank achieve in this kind of context? So uh, at the Open Data Institute, we have a lot of data. We have a lot of ideas. We have a lot of facts about what we could do and what our sponsors could do to grow the economy of the north of England. What we don't have is a way for us to be heard loudly, strongly in the Westminster Parliament in London. So I think what George Osborne can do is provide a platform, provide links, provide knowledge on how we engage with uh, London on this, how we make our case strongly and how we say that the north of England is a great place to do business, a great place for the country to invest in and if we work together on this we will deliver the returns that I think everybody right across the UK wants to see. Uh, he was quoted this morning as saying that he had feared uh, as soon as Theresa May became Prime Minister, that there was, and he used the word, a wobble over attitudes to the Northern Powerhouse within Downing Street. Did you get the same feeling? Uh, yes, very much so. And I think there has been a wobble uh, across the north of England generally. It's a really difficult and a really big decision to make. It's, it's not easy to do, and, and change takes time. Uh, we see that Liverpool and Manchester have really grasped at it, created Metro Mayors, got on board with that. Leeds hasn't done that yet, but I'm still really confident that, that lots of leaders across the north of England, in their own different ways, do see the central point, and that is that working together, we are stronger, we have to figure out how we're going to work together. It's really difficult for some people, and it's really difficult for people uh, in London as well to, to realise that the north wants to stand up for itself, make itself wealthy, and that it might need some help to do that and that if we're listened to, we might be able to put forward the ideas that can make that happen. You mentioned the possible views that exist in London. Do you acknowledge as well that there are some views in, for sake of argument, Birmingham, uh, the West Midlands, where people are saying, well, hold on, why don't we get this sort of attention as well? Yeah, absolutely. And I think there's, there's huge uh, worries in, you know, let's say, Birmingham as well, but even in places like where I grew up in East Yorkshire, it's, it's quite a long way from Leeds. Uh, what I would say is, you know, we're a United Kingdom, we're one country. A strong Manchester doesn't mean you can't have a strong Birmingham. A strong Manchester doesn't mean you can't have a strong Scarborough or Hull. So we're not really on opposing teams here. We're, we're looking for a way to work together. Uh, Birmingham is only 90 miles from Manchester. Uh, Birmingham is closer to Manchester than it is to London. A strong Manchester is better for Birmingham than a strong London is also good for Birmingham. So uh, I understand the feel feelings in Birmingham. I understand the feelings in, in places that aren't Manchester in the north of England. But I think we've got this huge opportunity and there's a real appetite and desire for people in the north of England to work together on it. OK. Uh, we appreciate your thoughts. Thank you very much Thank indeed, you very much. Uh, Tom Forth there in Leeds.